And tonight, the home or work order across South Carolina officially in effect started around 5 o'clock. News News' Hannah Powers joins us live from downtown Charleston on what this means and how it's being enforced. Very quiet night out there tonight, Hannah. Definitely a very quiet night, Brendan, with that statewide stay at home or work order going into effect at 5 o'clock. Earlier this evening, I got to speak with two different low country mayors who reacted to the governor's latest decision. I want to share with you how thankful I am to Governor McMaster and to thank him for his leadership in issuing his stay at home and work order. This new order might not mean many changes in downtown Charleston, where a similar order was already in effect. But 20 miles away in Goose Creek, Mayor Greg Habib says he's excited a stricter order was issued by Governor Henry McMaster. Need for the state order versus a local order because it, it will limit um, discretionary travel. So there will be less folks traveling in and out of Goose Creek or from Goose Creek to other areas. So that's going to be helpful in and of itself. Um, one of the bigger things that the governor did also is giving the guidelines for how we go about um, or how big box stores go about serving their customers uh, by reducing it to five per thousand square feet. That's going to really make social distancing uh, a lot easier to maintain. Mayor Habib says that when it comes to enforcing the governor's order, they are focused more on education when dispersing groups than legal action. That's a feeling that's shared by police across the low country, including Charleston Police Chief Luther Reynolds. I will tell you, we do not want to do enforcement. That's not our intent to, to arrest people right now. We have a lot of other things to pay attention to. If we have to, we will do that, though. The message I have is, to, is consistent with the mayor, with the governor, with the president, with everybody, and that is if you don't need to be out, please stay at home. If you Again, that statewide stay at home or work order is now in effect. You will still be able to leave your house for things that are deemed essential tasks, like going to the grocery store, the pharmacy, getting exercise. We have a full list of what you will still be able to do over on countonto.com. If you are caught not complying with the governor's order, you could be charged with a misdemeanor and have to pay a hefty fine or even face jail time. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, I'm Hannah Powers. Count on two.